Hey there everybody. Today I want to show how to bake out a dedicated server in Unreal Engine 4 using your custom project. Uh, I'm going to uh, this thread right here. This guy uh, he's went through and showed step by step how to make a whole bunch of custom settings and a server join and all kinds of cool stuff. So check him out here on the forums and this is what I've done so far with my project that I'm going to be baking into a dedicated server. Here's my two projects. This 22 is a copy or a clone of this one. This is my good one. And then this is my second good one. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch this so I can show. And we're in 4.9. And you're going to also need to have Visual Studio uh, Community 2013 installed to do all this. There's no other way or your other uh, script editor, whatever you like. So here's, I'm going to hit the play button. And uh, here's all the menu settings, audio, gameplay apply button return he shows you how to put all that in there uh, join game if I had a server running it would show up there turn the master volume down and uh, you got your custom controls for different bindings which I'm not for sure why the rights like that it should be D but right there yep so this is what you'll be doing and then you can go to host game and we can hit start hosting and I have a generic map in here and uh, just a generic character is nothing yet but okay so that's what we're gonna be baking out today to show it's not really a functioning game yet so the first thing I want to show is right here okay this is our we're gonna pretend this is our good copy we, we and we're getting ready so maybe we want to check to make sure that everything's right and we don't screw up and uh, you know uh, make this version incompatible or something so what I always do is I just right click on it go to clone we're gonna name this one YouTube okay oops I guess no numbers huh YouTube tut how's that and then create we'll get a warning just go ahead okay and I give it a few seconds here it's cloning right now and we can't refresh this any way that I know of other than shutting it off and then relaunching it and this is not my game here I don't know what this this I I have a uh, display fusion and it randomly selects Vietnam pictures I don't know whose game that is or but anyhow um, once this reloads we'll go back here here is the clone we just made from our good copy double click this and right around in here we're going to get some errors it's going to say hey it should have I should have some plugins installed and they're not there is what it's going to say because that project from the forms that I pointed out has two custom uh, plugins installed in it and yep here they come here comes the warnings and when you clone something the plugins don't get cloned over properly so we will have to go back it's gonna launch give us a bunch of errors okay I just wanted to show that cause that's probably what's going to happen so we'll close out of that so now we need to fix that problem so we're gonna go to our install area 
here is you know what I'm deleting this before I even I don't know why that's in there I'm gonna delete that out of there because this is the one that we're working on right now and yeah if we go in here you will see there's no plugins folder so we need to go back out here go to our working good copy either one of these two are both good I'm gonna go here I'm gonna copy the plugins folder because inside of this has both our plugins right there they are the advanced sessions and victory plugin so we're gonna go back out here's our cloned one that we're working on and we're just gonna paste that plugins folder right in here which is gonna take a couple seconds or a couple minutes so I'm gonna hit pause okay that's just about done copying over and there we go there's our plugins in our new now if we launch this now here's something else too I'm sure you guys know this but if you double click right here it will do the exact same thing as if we launched it from here if we double click this or double click this it does the same so we will launch this and it should launch pretty fast with no errors okay so now our clone is working with the plugins and I can tell I just have the there's our audio again okay so that's working cool next problem you hit the compile button up here it's gonna be errors failed yep errors hmm so that's the next problem and to fix that it's as easy as going over here and we're gonna add a blank C++ none next I'm gonna name this delete later because that's what we're gonna do we're gonna delete it later create class and now this will dump in a whole bunch of new files and stuff that we need to compile you can see down here it's starting to compile the code so this takes a little while I'll be right back alright it just got done compiling and it launched Visual Studio which is really cool which right now and if you notice since it launched Visual Studio now it's going to uh, build compile so we're going to as you can see down here so we're just going to let that finish out so yeah I had to make a quick video to come back to something I wanted to throw this in here in between videos real quick and you guys we just you, for some of you you might have for the first time loaded up Visual Studio, Studio ever and you're kind of lost and I'm going to tell you you probably should go watch some videos on it to get familiar with it a little bit you don't have to because there ain't much to it but right you know right off the bat if you're a fresh install you're gonna the environment's gonna look different and I can't remember how I change you know where all the stuff is right now but uh, you know like I got all these boxes across here and um, I, I went in to the custom controls and I made some of these boxes bigger so that they weren't hidden and everything and if you want to do that uh, you can do that very easily I'm not going to go over the whole thing but I do want to show you if you come on here and go to the Unreal Engine you go to these guys here and search for GitHub And if you watch this video here, Zach somewhere's in through here, which this is really good too. This might help you. I think it's about right up in here somewhere. He explains how to set it up. So check it out if it's bothering you. And something else very quickly. You want to have the UE4 uh, IntelliSense installed. So... Uh, you're going to want to go to wherever the Unreal Engine is installed, which is right here. 
games 4.9 engine and we want to go to extras and right here you're going to want to install this file and if you don't know how look up to this NATVIS Google it and figure out how to install it same with this whatever your Visual Studio same thing look it up if you don't know how to install it you need those installed though it will make it a lot better for you for your IntelliSense and these other windows and your uh, solution explorer you know all in things and uh, that's pretty much it hopefully that might make you feel a bit more comfortable if you're new to this all right all right I got done compiling and we're ready to move on to our next steps and uh, right here you can see when I hit the drop down you can see our next problem is we need the development server in this drop down which right now it's not there because we have to go and compile from github in order to get that it's the only way that I know how to do that so at, uh, at this point we've got all that taken care of we've got it com we've got our own custom game compiled with the plugins and everything's working good so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and if uh, SLN wanted you to save we go ahead and save the SLN and here's the uh, here's our custom map basically and everything's still working so we're all good there so we're gonna go do some github I'm gonna close out of that and first thing we need to do is go to the github website and if you're not you'll have to sign up and then once you sign up at github you will have to get uh, unreal to authorize you to uh, join their organization here in my profile you can see I'm in their organization you won't have this until you've been approved which they approve everybody as far as I know and then you want to click on your unreal engine and then you want to and there's a bunch of different ways you can do it I'm not going to get into all of them over here and stuff but you want to take and make a fork and you're going to want to fork it to your name whatever your github name is and this is going to take a little while to fork over so I'm just going to pause it okay that fork is done so if we go back to our profile and we check our repositories you can see right here here's our fork that we just made okay so the next step is you will need to have this github software installed and you want to launch it and it's going to want you to sign in and you're going to want to sign in and all that good stuff and first thing you'll want to make sure your settings are set up to where it's going to have a clone path make sure you know that and we're going to go up here to clone and find what we just forked remember there that's where we forked it from and we forked it to our mountain to your username and then here is the actual what we forked and then you want to click this button here clone and your directory should be already picked if you set it up in the options so I'm just gonna click OK and now it's going to clone the entire UE4 source and all the other files that we need to that directory that we just told it to clone it to I'm gonna go ahead and pause and we'll be right back